So I just want to say uh, thank you to uh, Minister Block. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come here. Today is a very important day for uh, uh, all the countries which are victims of the flight of PS752. Obviously, we're delighted that the Dutch government and uh, the minister has uh, agreed to spend time uh, with us together uh, to learn uh, from experience, obviously, of MH17. Uh, we greatly value the contribution of the Dutch government. I think the international community seeks to understand, to learn, to make sure that these horrific tragedy never happen again. So, Minister, thank you for taking the time. I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of my colleague and the international community that uh, we can all learn uh, from the Netherlands. And certainly, we're going to work together as a coalition to make sure that we can bring closure, that we can bring transparency, justice and accountability uh, from the Iranian government. And we're going to stand up uh, for uh, the families of the victims and the loved one in asking all the questions and getting all the answers that the families deserve from the Iranian government. Thank you. First of all, I would like to offer my condolences to the Canadian people. With the experience of the downing of MH17 still fresh in our memory, we realize what the Canadian people are going through. And therefore, I feel honored that I have the possibility to share the set of experiences we have after the downing of MH17 with the Canadian government and with the other grieving nations today. We have unfortunately a lot of experience in dealing with the aftermath of such a terrible disaster. And I know how important it is to the, the relatives and the friends of the deceased that uh, governments do their utmost to achieve truth and justice about what has happened. And I think the meeting today can give an important contribution to this aim. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Thank everyone. you.